summertime. Get to hang out poolside and just let the days pass by. Well, I'm sitting by the pool and I got a thought. Now, I have just been working on this demonstration video showing how to do a fire tornado on the desktop. It's a great, great science demonstration, but I got to thinking, I want to make it big, like really big. And I've got this kiddie pool here. It's actually my kid's pool. And I've got a fire pit. And theoretically, I should be able to make this thing, but on a much larger scale. So I filled up the kiddie pool, took apart the fire pit, and I'm thinking, now this has got to float just like a boat, right? Float up in there, yeah, floats well. And I need it to rotate. Now, if you've seen the other video with the demonstration, you understand I got to get this thing rotating if I'm going to get a huge fire tornado to come up out of it. So look here, a little white gas goes in, I light that on fire, and this is just to show, all right, spinning, spinning, but there's no real tornado. The thing is, I need something to get the air turning, which is why I built this contraption. But let me show you how I came up with the contraption. I was over by the garden, and I looked at my tomatoes, and I had these tomato racks, and I got to thinking, whoa, if I dismantled a couple of these, and then I wired them together, I would have this really crude sort of tower that I could get the air to rotate around my fire, thus making a fire tornado. So I got out some screen and I wrapped it around my crude little structure here and then I wired everything up together. Now what you're going to see is a whole series of massive failures. This is my first try and it won't really spin very well and it's moving all around the kiddie pool and my little wire cage keeps trying to tip over and it's basically a disaster. So trial two. I said let's put some gravel in the bottom of this thing to kind of keep it stable and to keep my little wire rack from tipping over. So now I got to lower my bucket down inside of there get it fired up and here we go spinny spin no tornado so I tried a few more times spinny spin no tornado oh mm -hmm. sometimes it goes that way so I I threw my son in the dumpster out back no kidding really and had him get an old shingle that was in the dumpster and I cut it up and used the pieces of the shingle to hold my wire down so now I want to hold this thing down. I'm trying again, spinning, 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 but I'm not getting what I'm looking for. So we're on trial about 15 here, but that's the way science experiments go. So look, now I've added some tin foil at the bottom because I'm pretty well convinced that air is sneaking up underneath next to the bucket and it's not spinning. And once I get the air coming through the screen and get this spinning well enough, look what happens we get the makings of a giant fire tornado. It's awesome! That's the face of victory. We've created a fire tornado! in a kid's pool, in my backyard. I love it. And just some slow-mo spinning one more time. Watch the fire tornado go. It's awesome. Now, if you want to know about the physics behind how the fire tornado works, click on the fire tornado demonstration up there. I got all the science behind what's going on and then a whole bunch of other videos where you can always come over and visit me at bealscience.com. The whole goal here though folks is to keep on. Learning.